looks like tonight the first boat will cross the finish line in the Vendée Globe race. Uh, closely followed by the second and maybe the third. Um, but we might not know who the winner is until those top few boats have, have finished coming in and all of the time penalties have been played out. It's really, really tense at the front there. And, you know, my best wishes to everyone at the front of the fleet. They've, they've sailed an astounding race and, and who knows how it's going to pan out. I just thought I'd share with you so what that means to me because I, I'm still in the South Atlantic. I haven't crossed the equator yet. It's another couple of weeks for me before I finish the race. Um, and so I guess it's just really how am I going to stay motivated? How do, how do I feel about still racing when those first few boats have got in? And there is you know, quite a big split in the pack now. And I think always this race has been so much more than just about racing against other competitors. And when I came into it, I really didn't know what my expectations were going to be of where I would be in the fleet and um, how fast I could push the boat and how well I'd fare in the South Atlantic. So all of this has been such a huge learning experience for me. And it's been an absolute surprise and a pleasure to end up where I have and we do still have competition okay I'm not particularly well matched with the boats that I'm I'm with now because they're all foiling other than DDAC who's just over 150 miles behind me but we're still racing and I've still got those boats around me and that motivation to just try that little bit harder to just push the boat that bit harder but one of the things about solo racing as a sport is that it requires you to have this huge inner motivation anyway because you are alone on the boat because there is nobody else that is pushing you to go that bit further to try that bit harder but there's also no one holding you to account so much of how we race and how we push and the decisions we make they have to be internal there has to be an internal drive to want to do better and I think the thing that drives me, the thing that motivates me, regardless of the competition around me, is to still, in these final two weeks, get the best result I possibly can with this boat. Be the best sailor I can possibly be. Be the best athlete I can possibly be. I've got different challenges facing me now than I did at the start, but then I have so much more knowledge. Um, and I want to get the boat home safely, in good condition and fast. So from me to everyone who is going to finish in the next 24, 48 hours, I just want to give you all a huge congratulations on such an intensely fought race. Uh, it is a real privilege to have been part of the same edition as all of you guys. And we're still fighting away at the back, so there's so much more to come.